guess the best way you can describe my job to you and what I do would be the crazy man on the beach. You know, you brought your family there, you got your ice chest and your towel, and you're just ready to enjoy the nice beach, and no one's there, so it's a great time. You got there early enough, you got your sunscreen on, and you're there, and I'm that crazy man far, way down, and you kind of wonder what I'm doing, and, and I just kind of have this thing that I'm doing with my arms, and it draws your interest because you're a man, and you got to figure things out, and so you leave the family there, honey, go ahead and take care of the kids, and you wander over to see what I'm doing, and when you get up close, you notice that there are starfish all over the beach, and I'm this crazy man that's consumed, my, my day has nothing better pick up these starfish which are dying and throw them back into the sea and you a logical person want to come over to me and shake me loose and try to wake me up I'm doing saying you're crazy what are you doing and I just don't even hear you I just keep throwing starfish because I am driven I am passionate it's robbed me I can't listen to you I can't hear you and you're trying to wake me up saying okay do you not get it there are thousands of starfish there are thousands and not only are there thousands I mean they're all dying and you only have maybe a few minutes <laughs> and I just keep going say but not just thousands here, sir. There are thousands on every beach across the United States, and not just in the United States, in Australia and uh, other countries. There, there are starfish, and, and they, they've cluttered every beach. It's just because of the moon and the gravity, and this happens every once in a while, and I just keep going. I don't even notice you, but I just keep throwing. I pick up another starfish. I look you in the eyes, and I throw it, and then I bend down, I pick up another starfish, I look you in the eyes, and I throw it, and I just keep picking up starfish, and just saying, stop, and I bend down one more time, say it made a difference for that one, it made a difference for that one. You know what? It made a difference for that one. Hair don't need it. It made a difference for that one. I got to do something. And there are some men here today with some battle scars. They say, God, use what you can in me. I'm not perfect. I never will be. I don't got it all together. But I'm here because I'm consumed. I'm passionate. I've been robbed of my self-control. I got to change because if I change, it changes my family. It changes this generation. It changes my city.